North Korea's first official COVID-19 outbreak is rapidly shifting, raising grave concerns for the country's healthcare capabilities, but also presenting an opportunity for the outside world to engage with the North. In terms of the latest numbers, state media reported earlier that six people have now died from COVID-19 in North Korea, with another nearly 190,000 people currently being isolated and treated. Consider that before yesterday, the official count in the North had been zero. Interestingly, Pyongyang confirmed that an unknown fever spread explosively across the country since late April, affecting 350,000 people. More than 160,000 of them have reportedly fully recovered to date. And despite some prominent ballistic missile tests recently, including just yesterday, leader Kim Jong-un's described overcoming his country's COVID-19 crisis as the most important challenge. Now seen wearing a face mask, Kim inspected the state emergency epidemic prevention headquarters yesterday, and while there, he criticized a failure to prevent the COVID-19 outbreak in his country. Until now, the strategy's been to try to hide away from the pandemic. Kim was quoted as blaming a vulnerable point in the epidemic prevention system. He also called for a widespread lockdown, as well as the further strengthening of medical supplies. Throughout the pandemic, experts have expressed concern for how or whether North Korea's healthcare infrastructure would be able to stand up to an outbreak. Even so, the North has refused to accept offers of millions of doses of COVID-19 vaccines, as it maintains strict border controls and claimed to have zero infections. While Pyongyang has so far resisted outside aid, here is a chance for South Korea and the US to present a realistic proposal of humanitarian support that could open the way for the resumption of dialogue on other issues, namely North Korea's nuclear weapon ambitions. The latest US position is that it has no immediate plans to provide vaccines to the North, but supports global efforts to help vaccinate North Koreans. That said, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki also accused the North of exploiting its own citizens by not accepting offers of aid while diverting resources to build unlawful nuclear and ballistic missile programs. While that comment certainly won't please Pyongyang, Kim has emphasized the importance of maintaining key economic functions, and the stage is set for new South Korean President Yoon song yeol to form a North Korea dialogue strategy with his US counterpart Joe Biden when the latter visits next weekend.